Hi guys, welcome to Technoholics. In this video, I'll show you how you can enable automatic proxy authentication on your Android phone without routing it. This will also allow you to access log or data of websites. And please make a note that this method is only applicable for devices running on Android 4.0 or above. You can also enable proxy from your advanced Wi-Fi settings but it will only allow you to access your browser because only your browser will support that proxy. So here we are going to use another method. So let's start with it. So first we have to enable our Wi-Fi so we are, I am enabling my college Wi-Fi entering password for it I will be connected to it but it will show no internet you can see connected but no internet now I will try to open my browser I will open google.com but you can see that it's not getting opened Now I will try YouTube app. And it's also not working with it. So to achieve our goal, we have to use an app called Siphon. You can find it on Play Store and download it. It's free app. And when you open that app, choose the tunnel hold device option if you are prompted with a pop up. And then go to options, check whether tunnel hold device is ticked. Now go to more options, tick on connect through an HTTP proxy, tick use the following settings and enter your host address and your port number and tick on use proxy authentication if you have authentication for that proxy so enter your proxy username and password and go back and go to home and press on start button now it's getting connected so it's connected now we will try our browser and other apps so I have opened my browser google.com and you can see that I have received my whatsapp message so whatsapp is working and you can see browser is also working now I will try for other apps I will try it for youtube so open YouTube, it's a bit slow, so taking some time. Now I will search for Android OS. And you can see that it's, it has shown results. And I will play any random video. And you can see that it's working. So it's working for both browser and YouTube, WhatsApp, every Android app. And you can see it's also working for WhatsApp. I will try to send a message. The message has been sent. So it's working for everything. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel.